In today's press review, we begin in South Africa with a story on Mail and Guardian. Are critics of the judiciary legitimate or dangerous? The South African judiciary is once more center stage in the political drama unfolding around the battle for supremacy within the governing ANC. In any constitutional democracy worth the name, the judiciary will be the ultimate guarantor of the rule of law and the supremacy of the constitution. Now in Uganda with the story in the Daily Monitor captioned Inside Bobby's Plan speaks about immediate action point in case he assumes top office. Still is another story. Ways to curb sexual gender-based violence in slum. Data from the Ministry of Land, Housing and Urban Development indicate that between 49 and 64 percent, about 1.6 to 2 million people of the totally urban population in Uganda live in slum. Kampala slum areas have been known for high rate of rape, underage marriages, and other forms of sexual and gender-based violence. In Kenya is a story in Daily Nation. Police in Kisumu hunt for gang that raped census official. The National Population Census in Kisumu started on a sad note after one of the enumerators in Maseno was gang raped by unknown men on Saturday night. And we end with Nigeria's Vanguard newspaper with a story, 77 suspects on FBI list, a double damage on us, presidency. Presidency has described the 77 suspects on FBI list as a double damage on the country, noting that the federal government is currently working with the international organizations and Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, to stop internet fraud.